Hi there, Taurus, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week, or I'm sorry, the month of April uh, 2021. I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. First up, for your overall energy, we have that of the Eight of Wands in the upright position. Well, it looks like it's going to be a busy month for Taurus. The Eight of Wands in the upright position can point to a lot of commotion. It can point to a lot of communication going back and forth. Good news for those of you who are, say, putting your resume out there, looking for jobs, or you're looking to travel, could be making some travel arrangements or plans. Uh, for others of you, this could be arrows of love, find their mark. Maybe you met somebody new this month and, you know, you're in that mode of communicating back and forth with phone calls, texts, emails, so forth, whatever the situation is. Good news for those of you as well in uh, who are in business for yourself. It could be that you're getting a lot of, uh, you know, contacts uh, coming your way, maybe a lot of contracts, maybe uh, offers, um, could be if you're in sales, it could be you know that you're you're selling a lot whatever the situation is there's a lot of communication and a lot of movement happening this month for you Taurus now we're going to break it down week by week in week 1 we have the 5 of swords rooted down by the 2 of pentacles 5 of swords rooted down by 2 of pentacles the 5 of swords in the upright position can point to conflict and problems this could be um you know coming being at odds verbally sometimes the group of people could be when we're fighting with family members or fighting with uh, co-workers friends neighbors what have you uh, words are being said and could be very hurtful when the card is inverted however this is where the the fighting has stopped the communication may have stopped as well but something has happened something has changed sometimes it's where we just throw down the swords go into four of swords mode which is all about just taking a time out to heal from an incident that could have been really uh, hurtful really difficult and it's paired up with the two of pentacles in the upright position this is a, a card that represents harmony in the midst of change this is where we're juggling could be juggling Two different jobs could be juggling, um, could be juggling your finances, your know, pocketbook, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe you're trying to make everything work out financially for you. It could be that you're just juggling two different situations and you're not sure, you know, like what to do here. But by the same token, I feel that you you are maybe sensing or you just know that you have to do the the second thing. It's like sometimes that's that happens right where you're working a job and all of a sudden you decide to oh i'm going to take on this temporary other job this second job i'm not sure i don't really necessarily need the money or i don't necessarily need to be doing this but sometimes we do things and then later to find out that whoa it's a good thing i did this so you could be taking a second road on something maybe you're deciding to you know try something else while you're still doing something like maybe try oh <laughs> My necklace just fell off just randomly fell off it could be that you're trying maybe a second job just uh, while you're still working your other one just to see you know how it's gonna turn out so that could be the case for some of you for others of you like I said this could be a financial thing maybe you're trying to um, deal with you know your finances maybe your finances went a little bit array could be due to a, a problem. Maybe you had a, an argument at work or something like that. And and uh, maybe you lost your job. I'll deal with that later. And, uh, you know, you're just trying to make things work in the first week. That's, that's what I see. You're making things work. And in week two, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, rooted down by Major Arcana, the Lovers, and the Upright. Well, the Ten of Swords here is at least in reverse, like the Five of Swords. Well, this does indicate, Taurus, there was a level of problems here. Maybe the Ten of Swords, too, is kind of like the bottom fell out on something. This was the last straw. Something went, uh, whether it was a relationship or whether it was just a situation, a financial situation, a, a health situation. Something just hit rock bottom. And then you're finally starting to heal from that. So it seems like there's a lot of healing going on while there's a lot of duality 
because now we have the Gemini energy, the lovers in the upright position. This is a choice, a decision between two things. Remember, you're coming off the two of pentacles. You're juggling two things. So it looks like in the first half of the month here, uh, Taurus, you're trying to f deal with something that may have gone away. It could have been a, a friendship, could have been a romantic relationship, could have been, uh, a, you know, pretty much anything. Remember, these are just general reads, but something happened here, but you're, you're healing from the situation. This is past tense already. So now you're at a point in the beginning of the month where you're healing from it. So you're healing from it, but you're also making plans, remember, to do something else. So it could be for some of you, you're moving on from a relationship, a job, a career, or what have you, onto something else. You've got the plans in motion. Well, you've decided to completely maybe put an end to something and you're putting the wheels in motion to move forward with something else. That's what it's really looking like so far. Then moving on to week three, we have the Five of Cups in the upright position with the Ace of Cups. So definitely the Five of Cups here in the upright position points to something that has hit home, hit, hit our emotions, something that was upsetting because the Five of Cups can represent um, emotional loss. Uh, it can represent separation. Um, and just really sort of focusing in more on what's, what's happened and usually this comes up because something fresh so whatever you're dealing with Taurus maybe at the beginning of the week these could be practical matters and it could be in week three now you have to deal with your emotions because the five of cups is about dealing with the emotions now the after effect you know I, I guess the best way to explain it would be to for example I'm not saying this is your situation but the, for example um, say you were you know fighting with somebody that you were involved with could be a romantic partner you're fighting with them and then finally it hits critical mass it hits the point of no return so you decide you have a decision to make right so you make a decision and you decide that you're going to move on from this relationship you're going to you know you're making your plans to move on you're juggling two things here trying to get everything going and, and moving in a different direction and then you finally do but in week three, now you have to deal with the emotional aspect of it. Because in the beginning, you're just dealing with the practical. Now you have to deal with the emotional aspect of it. Maybe you're feeling a little sad, a little bit um, regretful, a little bit, you know, in, the, in your feels about the loss. But then this is interesting because you have the Ace of Cups rooting that down. So which tells me that it's like you come back to yourself. You may feel in the moment the sting of the emotional loss. But then by the same token, you're feeling such great happiness. It's like opening the heart again. So maybe you're finally realizing some self-love here, applying the love to yourself, which is really, really nice. Or it could be indicative of perhaps finding new love, which opens up your heart again. Um, could be having a child, could be, uh, it could be having uh, getting a pet to get something that opens the heart again you see where i'm going and then the last week we have the knight of cups in the upright position rooted down by the four of pentacles reversed so the knight of cups here is a court card could be representing a person if it's representing a person this is water energy that of cancer scorpio pisces sun moon arising male and female now knights usually bring in offers and offers could be anything from something large or something small um, it could be an offer to go and do something wonderful, dreamy. See, the Knight of Cups is known as the knight in shining armor, but it's also a romantic dreamer. This person can be, maybe this is a new person on the scene who's uh, very much interested in you. Maybe they're making a romantic offer towards you, uh, Taurus. For others of you, this could just be a romantic dreamer who is a friend of yours, perhaps, that just wants to go and do something really fun maybe they're inviting you the offer could be them inviting you to go do something go to you know uh, enjoy something that's really enjoyable for others of you this is about creative pursuits maybe there's an offer especially if you work in a creative field there could be an offer there on the table for you the four of pentacles in reverse indicates that <clears throat> it could be letting go of old belief systems 
and moving aside and away from that could be for others of you perhaps you're letting go of excess baggage or you're finally getting your financial situation on track again because sometimes the four of pentacles in reverse can indicate we're letting go of old uh, debts or old things that we've had to pay we're finally paying something off and we're moving on so in closing i have, i always do the um, astrology cards for the very last in the monthlies to give a heads up as to you know what sign could be there for you i'll pull one first for uh love and romance and the second one will be career and finance so first one is aquarius we've got um aquarius awakening so this could be sun moon or rising aquarius for you maybe this is the love interest that comes in or it could be a, an aquarius person is the one who introduces you to a new love and next we're going to pull the card for career in finance we'll see what kind of astrological sign comes up we have taurus so the sun in taurus so it could be when the sun is in taurus practicality which it will be at the end of this month Maybe that's when your career in finance will get back on track, or it could be an actual Taurus, maybe is helping you or introducing you in some way, or will be of assistance to you for your practical matters, such as work, career, and finance. But yes, Taurus, that is your reading. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.